four biggest games for college football week three deep dive analysis, my proprietary power rating game simulation, and most importantly, I'm going to tell you how to bet all four games and make some money this weekend in college football, both Friday and Saturday covered here on this video coming up. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down your college football top 25 games for this week three of the season. And as is often the case, week three, it's a pretty light card, a lot of non-conference games. We only have two true top 25 matchups, and one of them is Friday night. I'm going to give that to you here in a moment, but I'm also going to look at three Saturday games, a top 25 matchup and two games that were just a bit outside for making the top 25 rankings. So four games in depth. Let's get right to the Friday night game. I know some of you might be joining us after this game kicks off. And by the way, that's another reason to click the bell when you subscribe so you get an instant alert when this video goes up every week. But there is a Friday night top 25 battle. And since we only have two all weekend, let's dive into actually what's the best matchup of the week. Statistically, it's the only two top 20 teams playing each other all week. And that's Friday night on Fox 8 Eastern, number 20 Arizona at number 14 Kansas State. And as I do every week here in this video, we start off with my database simulation. I run 10,000 games through the database, through the spreadsheet each and every week for all the FBS games. We get an average margin of victory. And this one is showing line value for Kansas State. My simulation favors the Wildcats a 12.5 point victory on average. And currently, they're only a seven point favorite, according to the Wager Talk Live odd screen. Total has been steamed up from 56.5 up to 60. We have seen some sharp money on the over under, and that's not a surprise as Kansas State coming off a high scoring win against Tulane last week, in which I went back and forth. They actually trailed in the fourth quarter and then pulled ahead and won 34 27, scoring the last couple touchdowns there in that game. They did not cover, though, as a 9.5 to 10 point road favorite. And for that reason, I do think this line is a little short this week as my database simulation projects a 12.5 point win. Kansas State's rushing game has been very strong, over 200 game yards rushing in both games so far this season. And um, their opponent here, uh, Arizona, has not been tested nearly as much. They were a 30 and 40 point favorite in their first two games against New Mexico. And then a very unimpressive 22 to 10 win last week against Northern Arizona as a 40 point favorite. They only scored 22 points. That's a red flag for me, and I think Kansas State is the side here with the line value, minus 7 or less on Friday night. All right, now let's get to the Saturday games for you. hope you joined us early to get that Friday game. Once again, if you want to know when this video goes live every week, click subscribe and hit the bell for an instant alert. Don't forget my NFL Fade the Public video will be up this weekend as well for week two of the NFL. Let's start with your three games for Saturday. Let's go with the one true top 25 matchup, and it's, it's barely a top 25 matchup. Like I said, i got to dig deep here in week three because we don't get a lot of high profile games number 24 boston college sneaking in the top 25 against number six missouri missouri looks like a solid team this year and the point spread is showing that as they're currently a 16 point home favorite here for this quote unquote top 25 matchup and after missouri wins this game as i think they will uh, boston college will no longer be in the top 25 by the way this game starts at 12 45 eastern saturday on the sec network Let's start with my simulation. I do favor Missouri by 19 and a half points in this game on Saturday afternoon. So I do think there's value with the Tigers at minus 16 or half at minus 16 or less, which is the current number. Um, so far this season, Boston College has looked very strong on the line of scrimmage. In fact, an impressive win, obviously, on Monday Night Football a few weeks ago against Florida State. 15-point dog. They win outright 28-13, hold Florida State to less than the point spread. They ran for 263 yards in that game, and then they ran for over 300 yards against Duquesne last week, and an easy 56-0 win as a 35-point favorite. Keep in mind, though, that Florida State spot, maybe we can chalk that up to a seminal letdown spot more than anything. But what was impressive is the fact they held Florida State to just 21 net rushing yards on 16 carries, held Duquesne to just 62. Um, they will be tested now against a Missouri team that ran for 255 yards last week. But Missouri throws the ball well, and I'm not sold on this Boston College pass defense. What I am sold on, though, is this Missouri defense. I know they've been a big favorite in their first two games, but still, they held their first two opponents to 27 and 55 passing yards and won by a combined 89-0 total score. The teams were down. They had to throw the ball. They still couldn't do it. I think Boston College is going to have trouble catching up and playing from behind. When they get behind, as they will as a two-touchdown dog, they're not going to be able to run the ball as much. And I don't think they have the backdoor cover that you look for, backdoor cover potential that we look for when playing big dogs. And on top of that, the line looks short. So once again, I project a 19.5 point win by Missouri. Current line is only 16. And I think it makes sense that they should be able to extend that lead late with that strong defense. Or hold on to the lead late, I guess would be a better way to put it. 
All right, that's your, those are your two true top 25 matchups. It's a very light card here in week three. But as I always do, because I appreciate everybody watching, commenting below, by the way, because I read all the comments. I try to reply back. Didn't get to them all last week. Between this and the Fade the Public, we had several hundred comments. I try to reply back, which rest assured, I read every single one of them. And I try to try chime in as much as I can. So keep the comments coming. Challenge me. Let me see if I can reply to all of them this week. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts on not only the games we're talking about here in the video, where you agree or disagree with the database simulation, but also what other best bets are you looking at here in week three college football this Saturday, September the 14th? Let's win and learn and earn together. Hey, throw some analysis in as well. Always love the feedback. I honestly believe we have the sharpest sports betting viewers right here on Wager Talk TV. So I do love the comments. Hey, throw up a thumbs like for the video as well here as you're watching. All right, let's look at two bonus games for you on Saturday. Actually, I think both of these are better matchups than the two games I talked about, even though they're technically not top 25 matchups. And that's because two of the teams are home dogs that are in the 30s. But if either one of these home dogs wins outright, I think they will be ranked next week. So that's why I want to talk about these games. And I do think both home dogs are live. That's another reason I wanted to talk about these games. Number four, Alabama at number 37, Wisconsin. Now, if you look at the additional votes in the AP poll, Wisconsin comes in around 37th. I think they're about 31st in the coaches poll, a little bit higher up. This is at 12 noon Eastern on Fox, an early kickoff on Fox at 12 noon Eastern. And let's start with the simulation. Uh, on average, 10,000 games run through the database. I've got Alabama winning by about 13 and a half points in this game. Currently, Wisconsin's about a 16 to 16 and a half point home underdog. So there is some line value with the Badgers. I would like it more if we could find a plus 17. So let's keep an eye on this line. I do lean towards Wisconsin as a good, dangerous home dog. And I think it's 17 or more. It might be worth a look. Let's see if the line gets there by Saturday afternoon. On the surface, Alabama off to an impressive start with that 63 nothing win against Western Kentucky is only a 35-point favorite. And keep in mind, that was a strong best bet for my clients at wagertalk.com a couple weeks ago. And often point out that we look to play big favorites early in September, especially these non-conference games. But this isn't exactly a big favorite, and I think it's a dangerous spot. It's not a normal road trip for Alabama. Also, hey, look, they've got Du Bois, a great coach here after coming over from Washington National Championship uh, runner-up last year. But it's still the first true road game for Bama under the new coaching staff. And it's a hostile environment. And oh, by the way, they've got Georgia on deck. Now, they do have a bye next week before the Georgia game, but they still have a Georgia look-ahead on deck. And don't let that 42-16 uh, final against South Florida fool you. That was a one-point game in the fourth quarter. In fact, when I turned that game on last week, I thought maybe they were replaying last year's South Florida game, which was that 17-3 game. So... For some reason, Bama struggles with South Florida. Maybe it was a little bit of a look ahead to Wisconsin, and maybe they'll come in ready. I think it's a dangerous scheduling spot, though, for Alabama. And at 17 or more, if we get there, uh, Wisconsin would be my preferred side, as I project just a 13.5-point win for the Tide. Now, Wisconsin's offense concerns me. They only put up 28 and 27 points against Western Michigan and South Dakota, despite being 25 and 20-point favorites. So they need a low-scoring game. You could probably make an argument uh, that Wisconsin and the under is somewhat correlated. And even though this line has risen higher this week from 15 and a half to 16, the totals actually dropped from 51 and a half down to 49. Um, two pretty good defensive teams here. We'll have to just see if Wisconsin has enough firepower to stay within the two plus touchdowns. That's an early game on Fox at 12 noon Eastern. And another live dog is also at 12 noon Eastern on ABC. And that's number 16 LSU at South Carolina, who's coming in 35th right now in the additional votes. Uh, they're also a little bit higher in the coaches' poll, I think around 33rd maybe in the additional votes. But just like Wisconsin, if South Carolina can pull the home upset, I think they'll be ranked next week. And of the two, I think South Carolina is a definite live home dog. Now, first of all, they're only a seven-point spread underdog, so obviously a better chance to win outright. But my database simulation has them winning outright, favors them by a point. That's right, 10,000 games simulated. On average, I've got South Carolina winning this game outright uh, by one point. So this is a live dog at plus seven or more. Now, now some spots have started to drop to six and a half as we head to the weekend. So if you like South Carolina, try to grab that plus seven. If you like LSU, I would wait. I think you'll see some six and a halves by kickoff Saturday. But I do like South Carolina here. Once again, I make the game really a, not even a pick -em. South Carolina by one is my simulation. Uh, so I do think the Gamecocks are a live dog at plus seven, especially. Also keep in mind, South Carolina's defense looked really good last week against Kentucky. Now I know Kentucky has some quarterback problems. They got two transfers in from Georgia and Rutgers, two highly rated quarterbacks, but neither looked good last week. And to put it in perspective, um, South Carolina's defense allowed over 400 yards per game last year. It was ranked in the 90 90s uh, nationally. 
Uh, they held Kentucky to 44 net passing yards last week, only 139 rushing yards. They do look improved this week, even though they look kind of lackluster in week one against Old Dominion. In fact, if they didn't have a 4-1 turnover, Ed, they probably don't even beat Old Dominion as a 20-point favorite. So a little bit of uncertainty there South Carolina, but there's some great line value. I think they're an improved team this year. And LSU also, I know their defense has allowed just 21 and 27 the first two games, but they were really bad defensively. They are improved this year, but that's not saying much. I think South Carolina can move the ball in this game and keep it close, especially if the defense is as improved as it looked last week at Kentucky. Take a look at South Carolina plus seven as a live dog at noon Eastern on Saturday on ABC. Hey, those are four of the bigger games this Friday and Saturday. I know it's a light card as far as the ranked teams go. A lot of them are playing cupcakes, but those are your top 25 matchups. On Friday and Saturday, the games I got you, and then two bonus games for you, in which we have some home dogs. If they can pull the upset, it'll be ranked next week. Comment below, what are your thoughts on these games? Lay it, take the points, are you staying away? What other games do you like? I read all the comments, I reply back. Thumbs up, like, click subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell as well. So you know when this video goes up, in case we have some of those Friday games, you don't miss them. And don't forget my NFL Fade the Public video will be up this weekend, so click the bell for an instant alert. Also, daily free play videos throughout the week for football, advanced football games, and daily baseball plays. And hey, speaking of baseball, I know it's football season, but don't sleep on baseball on a current 27-7 and best bet run in baseball over the past month. That's right, my client best bets, 27-7 and current baseball run, and there's still over a month and a half of baseball remaining. Football is here. In fact, football is very profitable also. The last two seasons combined, nobody won more ATS units of profit in college and pro football combined than I did. So why not consider an all-sports, all-access? Basketball is only a month away. Get it right now for just $3 a day, about a dollar and a half per play when you use promo code SM365. That's a full 365-day package. Baseball, basketball, football, college, and pro. Every best bet my clients get are the same best bets I'm personally using. This is my 29th season as a full-time professional handicapper. I'm on a 27-7 and seven baseball run. Football, no one's won more profits. ATS the last two years at Wager Talk, college and pro combined. And basketball has numerous number one rankings as well, including all-time number one units won in the NBA at Wager Talk. So don't sleep on basketball, football, and baseball. Get them all at once. Get them for about a dollar and a half per play with promo code SM365. It's a one-year all-access package. And the information, by the way, is on my page. You don't have to memorize the promo codes. I post them on my page at wagertalk.com. If you want football only, we do have a 30-day football special running through this weekend. 30 days and nights of college and pro football for just $199. That works out to about $6.5 a day. Also, I do have an instant $50 discount on the rest of the baseball season. So if you are a football client already, as I know many of you are, and thank you, by the way, for all the hundreds of you that have been on board already for this football season, you can add baseball, that red-hot baseball 27-7 and run, and get an instant $50 discount with MLB 50. MLB 50 gets $50 off the rest of the baseball season. Once again, I've listed all those promo codes on my page. Go to Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Scroll down right below the daily best bets, the daily free play. Don't forget about that bonus free play every day on my page. And you will see those promo codes and the special offers right now. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Hey, get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on X. Twitter, Instagram, at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. Comment below. I read all the comments. I reply back. And stay tuned right here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free betting content coming up next.